This is Big Idea 4. Earth is continuously changing. Earth's geosphere changes through geological, hydrological, physical, chemical and biological processes that are explained by universal laws. The changes to Earth's geosphere can be small, continuous, or only once in a while, and slow, or very sudden. Earth, like other planets, is still cooling, though radioactive decay continuously generates internal heat. This heat flows through and out of Earth's interior, mainly through convection, but also through conduction and radiation. The flow of Earth's heat drives its internal motions. Earth's interior is in constant motion through the process of convection, with important consequences for the surface. Convection in the liquid, iron-rich outer core, and also Earth's rotation on its axis, are the two sources of Earth's magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field keeps the solar wind from stripping away our atmosphere by deflecting it around the planet. Convection in Earth's solid mantle drives the plate tectonic processes, such as the formation and motion of the continents and oceanic crust. Earth's tectonic plates consist of the rocky crust and uppermost mantle, and move slowly with respect to one another. New oceanic plates are constantly forming at mid-ocean ridges and other spreading centers. This plate then sinks back into the mantle at ocean trenches. Tectonic plates move at the rate of about 10 centimeters per year. Many active geologic processes occur at plate boundaries. Plate interactions change the shapes, sizes and positions of continents and ocean basins. the locations of mountain ranges, ocean circulation, and climate patterns, the location of earthquakes and volcanoes, and where Earth's resources and living things are found. Earth materials take many different forms as they cycle through the geosphere. Rocks form from cooling magma, the collection and solidification of sediments and the change of older rocks by heat, pressure and fluids. These three processes form igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. Landscapes result from the dynamic interplay between processes that form and uplift new crust and processes that destroy and depress the crust. This interaction of processes is affected by gravity, differences in density, plate tectonics, climate, water, the actions of living things, along with weathering and erosion. Weathered and unstable rock materials erode from some parts of Earth's surface and are deposited in others. Because of the force of gravity, rocks fall and sediments are carried by water, ice and air down to the oceans. Shorelines move back and forth across continents, depositing sediments that become the surface rocks of the land. Through plate tectonics and the action of glaciers, Earth's sea level can rise or fall up to hundreds of meters. This can cause shorelines to move out and back by hundreds of kilometers. The upper rock layers of 
most continents formed when rising sea levels repeatedly flooded the interior of continents. And that's Big Idea 4. Earth is continuously changing. <laughs>